Welcome to Bedroom Studio Talk. I'm your host, Notan. <laughs> so as the video plays here, I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of my preferences in terms of lighting and uh, palettes and easels. So if you'd rather just kind of watch this in silence, you can just mute this and um, you're probably not going to miss too much. If you look up above the easel here, uh, the light is pretty well balanced. I'm using uh, color adjustable, or actually temperature adjustable LED light. And uh, it's also possible to use uh, this remote control to dial in the precise brightness. And I find this to be extremely useful. Um, when I'm painting inside. Also the light that I'm using to model the subject matter here is a bulb LED. It was a clip light 100 watt equivalent um, daylight balanced and um, yeah not too bad. Uh, there are LED lights out there with higher CRI ratings. Um, this is a whole nother subject matter but um, definitely something to consider uh, you want the highest quality light possible so that you can um, actually see what you're painting I am in this video using uh, this is a secondhand easel I bought for probably about ten dollars this is I don't even know if this is a painting easel to be honest I think this easel is just meant to like hold up um, some type of uh, signboards or something the easel that I'm using the most right now is the Edge Pro Gear Paintbook. This mounts to any camera tripod as long as it has a quarter 20 mount. Uh, the beauty of this thing is that you can attach a LED light to it and um, it's definitely something I don't mind hiking with. The other easel that I use sometimes is this one here in the photo. It's just a simple telescoping tripod easel um, and it's really convenient to carry basically anywhere because it's so light. Getting out into nature is really good for a number of reasons. It helps you to adapt to your environment. Um, on a number of different levels. Uh, this isn't meant to be a philosophical video or anything, but um, I mean, obviously you learn a lot of things uh, by getting out into nature that you can't really learn um, sitting in a studio. I mean, yeah, you learn a lot from both. I I definitely think it's it's more of a challenge to be outside. You have insects, you have the the sun the wind you you have all different obstacles in the uh, environment that uh, just things you don't think of it's a challenge but it's definitely worth it and that's kind of the price you have to pay for the most beautiful light that there is on earth um, no artificial lighting or LED can come close to matching um, what the sun can produce and um, all of the different varieties of of landscapes and compositions are, are just infinite we are trying to solve light problems right but you're also I mean you're problem solving just from a painter's perspective of trying to get to the location and actually uh, paint something in a in a limited time block um, when the sun is uh, you know cooperating and and uh, the weather is cooperating um, when all the stars align uh, it's like fishing it really is it's like you go out and you try to catch a good painting and um, you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't <laughs> But the more you do it, I think the more you start to realize like what's required. Uh, 
that's one thing that painting does is it, it almost forces you to look very very carefully at at uh, the present moment So that about concludes the commentary section of this video. Uh, I'm just going to let the rest of this play out here. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.